in Nice, you won't have trouble finding good food at high prices. But what about cheap eats? There are actually many options for food to go, where you can get great stuff without spending a fortune, often local specialties. We will show you the best places recommended to us by locals. Let's start in the old town of Nice before we take you to the harbour. This is the most touristy part of the city, so you'll definitely spend some time here too. Also, it is really pretty and we're sure you're going to lose track of time when strolling through its little alleys. Sooner or later, you could probably do with a snack. We'll take you to 13 fast food places where our friends from Nice usually pick up their snacks. This is Courcelleia and there's lots of food to go here. You'll find all kinds of delicacies at the market stalls, from baked goods and cookies you typically get in a bakery, to ready-made meals, and of course, fresh fruit for your vitamin balance. Oh, and there's a place for smoothies, too. Teresa sells typical local specialties at her booth. Soca. Pisaladière. Panbanya. But also pizza. To find out what the foods with the funny names you probably never heard about before are made of, check out our video about Nice's local cuisine. If you want to get your snack at the Coursaleia market, just know that it closes at around 1 p.m. and there are no food stalls at all on Mondays. As you can read behind me, we are at Paris now. And this is probably as far away from our local cuisine as we'll get today. But you'll still find it familiar with Mediterranean food such as kebab, of course, but also falafel, Greek salad and all kinds of Mediterranean vegetables. At Peras you can get your food to go, but there are also tables indoors and outdoors. The restaurant is close to the tram line, which runs between the old and the new town. You'll find the exact location of all the places we suggest in the description below this film. We are at Chez Teresa's right now. Sound familiar? You've met Teresa before at the market at Coursaleia. She has her own restaurant in Rue Droite, which is in the middle of the old town. During high season, expect a line during lunchtime, which speaks for itself. So again, you'll get typical local dishes at this place. Everything from soca to panbanya and pisaladière. The soca is baked directly on site in the stone oven. And you can get your lunch at really good prices, to take away or to eat on site. We went for soca and pisaladière. More local specialties are served at the following places in the old town. There's René Soca and Lupi la Leva, which means something like here you take away in the local dialect called Nisa. You can actually eat on site too. And frankly, you'll get food at great prices. And the place is situated at a nice little square in the middle of everything. Of course, being this close to Italy, pizza is a huge thing in Nice as well. Here are three of the best places for pizza to go. Behind me is Pizza Pili. This place in Rue Benoit Bunicourt is tiny and serves only to go. But the price
prices are great and the choice of pizzas is amazing. According to our friends, the pizza tastes delicious at Peely's and they often buy it here to eat it on the beach. No luck for us at this pizza place right next to the promenade. It was closed when we stopped by on a Tuesday afternoon. But it has a fun feature. You can order your fresh pizza 24-7 at this vending machine. That can also be set in English. Place your order, pay and get your pizza through one of these openings. Here we are at Les Artisans de la Pizza. Again, no luck at this brand new pizza place in the middle of the old town. Close to Place Rossetti, because once again we arrived in the middle of the afternoon. We were told it's worth a try. It sure looks sweet, and apart from pizza, also serves other Italian dishes. Our following three tips line up at Boulevard Jean Jaurès, which separates the old from the new town. We loved all three of them because the staff was crazy friendly. And now we are at Not Dog. If you're looking for a vegan place to go, this is obviously for you. Four years ago, this tiny little restaurant with a sweet terrace opened its doors and you'll find typical fast food, but without any meat or dairy products. Hot dogs, burgers, and other snacks and treats, of course. Everything is homemade for takeout or to eat in. And now, Chef Felix. You could easily miss this place two steps from Not Dog if you weren't paying attention. It's so small. But you shouldn't. We met the nicest crew here. And again, you'll find typical local food to go at Felix. One of their specialties is pan bagna, which the owner, Jean Charles, Felix's son, is preparing. This is the small version of pan bagna. And this, the big one. We had a quick coffee and felt hugely welcome. Whether it be for a snack or a beverage, you should give it a shot. And now we're at the bakery called Multari. Bakeries in France are perfect for a quick snack to go. Often they have special lunch menus on offer, including a sandwich, a piece of cake and a beverage for less than 10 euros. There's a bakery at every corner, really but we're taking you to this one today because it has great prices super nice staff and opens at 4 in the morning 24-7 people often stop by on their way home from a night out in Nisa's old town you'll find the usual local suspects from pan bagna to pisaladière but also salads and lasagna sandwiches with ham and cheese, for example, as well as all those nice tarts and pastries you know from France. Coffee is prepared in a proper Italian machine and comes at very good prices. There are several Multari bakeries in Nice. Another one close to the harbor, an area where we'll take you next. Many cute little cafes, restaurants and bars have popped up in this part of Nice, just north of the harbor in recent years. Definitely worth discovering. But back to our mission to show you the best places for snacks. Over there is the next place we wanted to show you. Daki. Again, friends had told us about this charming, pretty new place next to the harbor. And we loved it right away. Just look at the paintings on the walls. 
there are many little details to discover and they'll tell you a lot about the owner's mindset. Francky is full of passion for his cooking. He takes old local recipes and creates his own modern version of them, finger food style. His signature dish is called barbajouan. Make sure to try these tasty little dumplings filled with chard, onions, rice and parmesan. So typical for here. Daki, the name of this place, means from here in Nisar, the local dialect, by the way. Here we are at Shepipo. Shepipo, which is very close to the harbor too, is an institution in Nice. The family has had their restaurant for almost a century and supposedly serves the best soccer in town. This chickpea flour-based pancake, baked in an oven, which is both crunchy and soft. You can also order little slices of pizza and a few other local, mostly vegetarian dishes. Be prepared to stand in line to get a table at lunchtime, which says it all, right? If you want to know more about Chez Pipo, watch the video that's popped up in the top right corner. Now let's take a look at La Grata. This is our final suggestion for today. The food stall is situated at the far end of the harbor. So just perfect if you want to go to one of Nice's more secluded beaches. Find out more about them in our video about the top five hidden beaches on the French Riviera. According to one of our friends, they have the best pan bagna there is. But you can also get classic sandwiches and grilled paninis at pretty good prices. In summer, this snack bar is open every day. From September it's closed on Mondays and in December and January it's completely closed. Are you a foodie? Then why don't you keep watching to see some of the restaurants where the locals eat in Nice in this video?